Hi, and welcome to JumpCloud's video tutorial series. Today we'll be talking about our recently released Google Apps integration. We have launched our Google Apps user provisioning and sync utility recently, and specifically what that does is to provide a complete round trip environment for the importation of Google user accounts, the provisioning of new accounts into Google, but most importantly, the authoritative management of those identities from JumpCloud not only to Google, but to any of the other places where JumpCloud's identities can be emitted. From a benefits perspective, number one, what this does is gives our customer base an ability to leverage that historical investment they've made in Google user accounts, quite literally reusing them and extending those identities out to various endpoints, be it their workstations or any of the other places that JumpCloud supports an emission of identity, such as through our REST APIs, through LDAP, SSH keys, Radius, and other protocols supported by the JimCloud platform. When we take a look at the integration relationship at a glance, or more like a 60,000 foot view, this is kind of what it would look like, or frankly what it does look like for our customer base. You can see that Google Apps uh, provides a round trip engineering uh, bridge to and from JimCloud meaning we can import users, reuse them, emit them to various places that you see here, ranging from infrastructure as a service, like your cloud servers up on AWS or Google Compute Engine, um, the same credentials used for Wi-Fi and network access, again, same credentials for any applications and resources that are bound to JumpCloud through LDAP or our REST APIs, and as mentioned before, the same account yet again utilized for access and logging into your employees' workstations. Again, supporting Mac, OS X, uh, Linux, and Windows endpoints. With that said, let's go and do a demonstration of the JumpCloud product in action. We'll start our demonstration here within the Google Apps Administrative Dashboard, specifically um, uh, in the Users portion of the Google Dashboard. And we're going to create a brand new user here on the fly. Uh, we're going to use this user as our basis of importation and then emission to various endpoints supported by GemCloud. So let's call this guy uh, Edward Baker. And his uh, username and uh, the prefix to his email is edward.baker at uh, thejumpcloud.com. So let us create this guy. Great. Done. We now have an active user inside of the Google Apps directory. Now let's head on over into the Jump Cloud directory. Specifically, what we're looking at here is the administrative portal and, uh, to be more specific, the user list. But we're going to head on over to the Directories tab and then into the brand new Google Apps tab. Uh, before this demonstration, I've already connected to Google Apps. This is done through an OAuth 2 connection. It's a persisted, secure connection, which will maintain itself until such time that you want to deactivate it, which is this button here. Uh, in this case, I'm going to import my user. Uh, I can select all the users in my Jump Cloud, uh, or rather my Google Apps directory, uh, or in this case, I can just select the one specific user I'm interested in, uh, in importing, in this case, Edward Baker. So let me import that user. Great, we have success. And now we'll head back into Jump Cloud and take a look at what's going on. Let's find uh, our Edward Baker, who is recently imported. Here he is. And you'll notice that Ed, in this case, the status is not active. When we import a user, they are put in an inactive state until the administrator can authoritatively activate and start owning accounts, uh, quite literally, authoritatively governing the Google account, which is what we'll be demonstrating for you. As an admin, uh, I'm going to go in and input a temporary password. Uh, there are other pathways to activation here as well. Uh, in, a good example is firing off an email from the platform to uh, the employee to have them enter in their own password. In this case, I'm sort of shortcutting that process by using my administrative privileges to add in a temp password and activating the account. So great, we have an active uh, Edward Baker account. The one last thing I'm going to do is head on over to tags and specifically the Google Apps provisioning tag. What I am doing here in this final step is to uh, select, uh, in our case, we'll find Edward Baker, 
and hit save and that action at that moment now has turned JumpCloud into the authoritative owner of the Google account. It's the true identity now that's governing Google in addition to all the other uh, places where the JumpCloud identity can be admitted to. Again, we'll get into that in this demonstration. Uh, a kind of a cool way to demonstrate that sort of ownership of the Google Apps account is to log in uh, to the user portal um, as if I was Ed, uh, Edward Black in this case. So let's uh, go into the user portal. I am going to uh, type in the email for Edward Baker and the password I was given. Great, we have logged in successfully as Edward Baker to my new user portal. But let's sort of do some changes here to really stress the case of the ownership that JumpCloud has over the Google account. A good example of this is to just do something trivial like uh, change the name. Edward doesn't like his name Edward anymore. He wants to be called Ward. And we'll hit save. Now let's head back over into uh, the user account. You can see here I haven't refreshed. We have Edward Baker here. Let's head back into the users. And notice here we have Ward Baker. Email, everything else still stays the same, but pieces of metadata, uh, details about the user, JumpCloud can officially own uh, and push down into the Google account. But let's take this demonstration even further. We now have imported the user. We have logged in as the user. We've changed data about the user. Uh, let's go now and do some provisioning. We're back in the JumpCloud administrative dashboard, and I'm going to go into tags. Uh, specifically, we'll say that Ward Baker is one of our administrators, and I need to uh, provision Ward as a new employee and as a sysadmin into uh, our Google Compute Engine servers, let's say. In this case, I'm going to open up my GCE admins, uh, you, which is sort of a, a group of users that can be bound to machines. You can see I have four servers selected here, all on GCE of various operating systems, some Linux, some Windows. Uh, and I'm going to find my Edward Baker user, my Ward Baker user, and hit save. And the action of me tagging or assigning Ward Baker to those systems and hitting save quite literally has now deployed a user account out to all of those uh, uh, Google Compute Engine servers. Let's head on over, in fact, into Google Compute Engine. We'll fire up my dashboard. Um, here's one of those instances, our, our Linux instance. Let me shell into this. I think I have a shell open, which I do. And um, let's pull back an Etsy password. Great. I've refreshed, and you can see now that uh, our Ward Baker user is now deployed out to that uh, Linux instance. Now let's take this example even further. Let's get uh, Ward provisioned out to a fairly typical application, in this case, Jira. So let's head on over into uh, another VM that I have that's running uh, an quote-unquote on-prem version of Jira. In this case, you can see I have Jira here. Um, I have Jira uh, in this case. Let me log in so I can show you some cool stuff. Uh, I have this Jira instance mapped directly to JumpCloud's LDAP interface. We have all of this documented. Um, we, if, if your application can speak LDAP, um, it can communicate with JumpCloud. Uh, so this will give you a basis. We have a number of uh, applications documented. But let's go into the Users tab and see, right now, um, we don't see a, uh, an Edward Baker, an uh, Edward.Baker account, as you can see here. Uh, we need to run a synchronization, which I'll do here. Great, we're done. Now let's head back on into the users and we'll scan through our list again and voila, here we have edward.baker user with his newly changed name to Ward Baker, now provisioned as a brand new account inside of Jira. So with that understood, in the few minutes we've spent today, you've seen our Google Apps integration, you've seen metadata changes and authoritative ownership over the Google Apps account, We've also shown you the provisioning of that same imported account from JumpCloud into a Linux instance, as well as this uh, Atlassian Jira instance. We hope you've enjoyed this presentation. 
And if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to visit us at jumpcloud.com or uh, give us a, a holler at support at jumpcloud.com. Thanks so much for listening.